Hey, Prozo community. I'm Alfredo. I'm one of the co-founders of Prozo. And today I want to share a tip about how to listen authentically. Authenticity is something that has been brought up a ton this year, especially with the emergence of generative AI. Um, and all of us as individuals and as leaders have tried to be more authentic in how we express ourselves and how we communicate with the people around us, and especially with the people that we communicate with uh, via Zoom or email. And something that I learned over the last few weeks and months in speaking to so many of you and interviewing you all in a sprint to get to know proposal customers better is how to understand when you are speaking to me or when, when someone is speaking to me, how to understand what is most important about what you're telling me. It's very easy for someone like myself to pick up a phrase or a segment of a conversation and stick to that and prepare my response. You know, I'm, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to say before you even finish saying something. And I've tried to move away from that. And in doing so, one of the practices that I employ is being an active listener. And, and to be an active listener, I need to understand what someone is telling me. And so without sounding canned or like I'm offering a technique or using a technique, I try to use a few different phrases to confirm that what I'm taking away is the most important thing that you are telling me. And if you've spoken to me with me on a call or on Zoom, you might have heard me say something like, let me see if I'm hearing you correctly. Or I want to make sure I understand. And I'll actually repeat what you just shared with me or a version of what you shared with me and that I understood. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter if I get it right or wrong on the first try, but what matters is that I actually tried to understand. Oftentimes, I will be corrected. I will get it wrong, and I'll be told, no, this is actually what I meant to say. And the person that responds to me will show grace and gratitude in, in saying, well, thank you for trying to understand and for following up on this because I, I, this is important to me and I want to make sure that I'm conveying myself correctly. So that's the tip that I offer this holiday season and something that hopefully that you can carry on with you in your professional work, in your personal lives um, during this time with family and with friends, and hopefully something that works for you in the new year. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful holiday season and a wonderful new year.